So chat, we are now very close to completing this pack. There is but one quest left in the quest line, not including the uh, three down here that we've not yet completed, which I think we will do. Um, I don't think any of those are going to be too difficult for us to complete. But um, up here, we have congratulations, you did it, craft an ultimate solar panel. And at the end of the last stream chat, we uh, put in a request for uh, five, I believe, advanced solar panels. And you'll see that it is still going. Since yesterday, it's not quite done yet. The reason for that is that our infusing factory here has kind of messed up a little bit in terms of making the last bits of bronze, but I think that should probably uh, do it. Yeah, there it is. All right, so chat, we now have seven of the eight required advanced solar panels. So we'll go ahead and, of course, request one more. We're missing iron, of all things. So we've got 39,000 in the system. I really thought, chat, that we would have enough iron. The iron is still coming in thick and fast. So hopefully... It won't take us too long to get that extra uh, 1,000 iron. At which point we could, of course, request the last one here. Yeah, we've made like 300 uh, just going down to check. So we should have that done very soon. And um, other than that, chat, we just need to be able to make the ultimate solar core. At that point, we can craft eight advanced solar panels with the one ultimate solar core. And boom, we're going to have the ultimate solar panel. So for the ultimate solar core, we need two platinum. Four advanced solar cores. I'll go ahead and request those. Real quick, we have one, which is odd, but I'll request... Do you make them in sets of four? You do. So I'll request one more, which will make four of them. Like so. We're also going to need two buckets of liquid DT fuel. I do believe that uh, over in our uh, chemical infuser, we should have some DT fuel. I think it is possible that we might have to run the DT fuel that we have through a rotary condensator. Because currently, over here, yeah, we have regular DT fuel, and the solar panel over here requires two buckets of liquid DT fuel. Uh, right now, this is in kind of gas form, uh, but that shouldn't be a problem, really. All we have to do is grab one more rotary condensator, which I really don't think is going to be a problem for us at all, chat. It's actually a machine that doesn't even require one of the uh, the steel casings. It just requires a uh, an energy tablet, basic fluid tank, and a basic gas tank, all of which we have the ability to make basically right away. We do need some more glass, which as of right now, I believe is being used for our uh, auto crafting, but we can request some more. There we go. Nice. And at that point, chat, I'm fairly certain we can put this down here. Hopefully, if we uh, place it down in the right direction and make sure it's set to decondensing, then it should, I believe, begin extracting out the old uh, DT fuel here and uh, putting it to work. It might be the case that we have to use a pipe on oh, no, it. We're good. There we go. All right, liquid DT fuel is being created. Uh, we do need power over there, but again, that should not be an issue whatsoever. We did make some more uh, universal cable. And so uh, if we just do something like this, we can run the power over to the condensator. And once we get two buckets worth, we can go ahead and extract those. And, uh, and we should be good to go. We might as well, I reckon, go ahead and put in some speed and energy upgrades just to make that nice and quick. Seeing as we have them lying around. One and two. And there we go. That is the DT fuel taken care of. So, Chad, the only thing that we are now missing, and I might as well go ahead and bookmark both of these. The only thing that we are now missing for the ultimate solar core is one nitro crystal, which is made with a ruby block, a crimson steel block, and a nether star. So finally, Chad, we are going to have to fight the wither, but I really don't think it's going to be too bad. So we are going to have to get some wither skeleton skulls. Right now, we don't have any. Um, soul sand, I thought we had, but apparently we don't. That's fine. Um, right now, we do have our uh, crimson iron sword here. But I, I think, Chet, basically all we have to do is, uh, is head on through to the nether, try and kill a couple of wither skeletons, get ourselves three wither skeleton skulls. I don't think there's a way to craft the nether star. No, I think we are going to have to go and, uh, and actually manually fight the wither here, but that's, you know, that's doable. So, in yesterday's stream chat, things went a little bit off the rails. We started by trying to get three wither skeleton skulls. That's all we were trying to do, and after well over an hour of fighting and killing wither skeletons with our Crimson Iron Sword, with luck two, we only managed to acquire one with a skeleton skull, which is less than ideal. It means that we still don't have all three of the wither skeleton skulls required in order to spawn the wither, get the nether star, craft up the gem required, the nitro crystal, 
to make the ultimate solar core, to make the ultimate solar panel, to complete the pack. We have but one quest left in order to complete the pack chat. And all we have to do to complete that quest is fight and kill one wither to get one nether star. So the plan for today's stream is once again to hopefully try and get two more wither skeleton skulls. Now, I think we're going to do it a little bit differently today. The plan for the start of today's stream is to utilize the old enchanting table. And I think I'm going to use a different sword. I think I might go with maybe a diamond sword, unless there is a sword that is uh, of higher attack. Maybe steel. It looks like steel and diamond are about the same. There is a bronze sword, which does slightly more damage. And then actually you can get a refined glowstone sword or a refined obsidian sword that goes up to 10 attack damage. Basically, I'm looking for a sword that we can enchant. Right now we can't enchant our crimson iron sword because it already has fire aspect two. So I think we'll go with the old uh, refined obsidian sword. This thing's fairly easy to make. It's two refined obsidian ingots, both of which we can request that our system make for us nice and easily. And other than that, the only thing we're going to need, of course, to actually enchant our, uh, our sword is a couple of bookshelves. So I think what we will do in the interest of saving space, I think maybe I'll put this here and we'll put our kind of our bookshelves around it for now. Um, of course, if we're going to get bookshelves, we are going to need some paper and some leather. Right now, we do have 11 leather, and we can probably get more fairly easily. I don't know if there's a way to craft leather. Oh, but we get leather from the, uh, the fisherman strainers, which we've not used in quite some time. We can also, of course, go and, uh, and kill some cows if you want more leather as well. But um, in terms of getting paper for the, the books, I think given our current shortage of sugarcane, we only have 39 here, um, we might go ahead and utilize the old sawmill to get some more sawdust. I believe we can turn sticks directly into sawdust. We can indeed. And um, we already have 13 sawdust in the system. And so getting all of the books required for um, for some bookshelves here shouldn't be too difficult. Although we do need quite a few, eh? <laughs> we also need quite a few more, uh, more planks as well. But again, that should not be uh, too difficult. And the whole point of this, by the way, chat, is that uh, ideally we're going to try and get the Vorpal enchantment, which is an enchantment added by blue power, and this enchantment increases the likelihood uh, the likelihood that mobs will drop ahead when you kill them. So if we can get Vorpal 2 onto our refined obsidian sword, hopefully, heading back through uh, into the nether, we can kill a couple of, of wither skeletons, hopefully nowhere near as many as we killed yesterday, and, and still get ourselves quite a large number, um, at the very least two wither skeleton skulls. That's the plan at least. But uh, I guess for now, chat, let's go see if we can't get um, some more leather. Let's quickly get the old sawmill up and running. We don't quite yet have enough leather, but uh, if we get the sawmill and some sticks, we can, uh, of course, throw that down. For now, we don't need the old uh, machine infuser anymore. We can get rid of that and uh, place the sawmill right about here. We do already have some sawdust in there, which is lovely, but uh, putting the sticks in and, of course, putting in uh, some of the old upgrades that we should have uh, quite a decent amount of, and by that, I mean we're almost out of, actually. Let's request like a stack more of both of those. Not that I really think we're going to need a stack of both of those going forward here, but they're nice to have on hand nonetheless. And that's going to get us like a nice amount of uh, sawdust, which of course we can use um, over here to make more paper for the old, uh, the old bookshelves. All right, so here we go. Sawdust, kapow, with paper. And then from there, chat, we should have, hopefully now, everything it takes to make a bunch of books. And, of course, after that, a bunch of bookshelves. Nice. So we've got three upstairs. Uh, three plus nine is 12, for those following along at home. Uh, so 12, you've got 13, 14, 15, I think uh, is correct. It is. Nice. All right. All right, all right. So, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, and... One. So now, chat, we should be able, uh, if we grab some lapis here, to get some level 30 enchantments. I do not have the option for level 30 enchantments. Remove the torch. Ah, thank you, chat. I was not aware that that was the thing that uh, affected it. All right. Boom. And boom. So this one says unbreaking. Again, I think what we're going to do probably is just grab, you know, a, a generic sword. Enchant that at the lowest level we can. Is five the uh, eight the lowest level? It is. So we'll enchant that, and then we'll uh, we'll try again. We're looking for for Vorpal, not knockback. Um, I will also come over here and do some. 
Oh, he's not ready yet. We'll do some trading, I think. I guess we'll keep going with um, the cheaper swords until we see uh, until we see uh, the Vorpal down here. Fire aspect, also not what we're after. Chat, not what we're after. Uh, use the grindstone to remove enchantments and get experience. That's not a bad idea, chat. The grindstone is fairly easy for us to make. We do need a stone cutter, which um, I think we might have actually. I think we maybe made one right at the start of the series. We did. So I, think I grabbed that and a little bit of stone here. We should be able to uh, whip up a stone slab. I assume any stone slab will work. But just on the off chance, we'll grab a regular stone slab and do something like this. I don't believe you get a lot of um, experience back, but uh, any experience we can get back is definitely uh, worth it, I guess. So that is Vorpal 1, which is not terrible. I would pre and that also has Vorpal 1, like we have the option for it there. I would prefer Vorpal 2, honestly, like if we can get it, you know, I really want to, uh, you know, I feel like if we're going to go for it, we might as well go for it, you know, no half measures, although we are running through, uh, through our, our swords quite quick. I'll keep a hold of Vorpal 1 there just in case. But uh, I am going to give, I'm going to, you know, say no to this Vorpal for now and just keep cycling. Vorpal 2. Okay, Vorpal 2 is the best we can get. So I'm going to go for that. Perfect. I think you can get it on tier 3 as well. Um, if you get it on tier 3, I think you're likely to get it with other, um, like, enchantments as well. You can get it, like, with looting or with smite or knockback or unbreaking, anything like that. But we have it, chat. We have Vorpal. This is all we need. Vorpal 2 is the best Vorpal you can get. And so now, once again, we're going to head on through to the nether. We're going to fight. Hopefully, very few Wither Skeletons, and uh, hopefully come back with two Wither Skeleton Skulls. All right. We are on hard. So I'm hoping, I don't see any, any, uh, there are so many zombie pigmen on the on the right of the mini-map. I don't see any uh, Wither Skeletons yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that as we uh, move around here, more and more of them will spawn in. I've got a full... Meat feeder, or almost full. It's been, but it's, we've got enough meat in our feeder to uh, to keep us from dying here. I think. Which is nice, given that we're always fully fed. We do tend to uh, to do pretty well on the old HP front. So no skull from the first guy. Okay, still nothing. Still, still nothing. So three, we've killed three wither skeletons. And, uh, and and zero skulls. I'm going to keep a tally. I want to know just how bad my luck is, honestly. Okay, number four. Is no dice. Number five. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's two, chat. That's two. We need but one more wither at skeleton skull. That's all we need. And there are three, three wither skeletons right here. I'm confident, chat. I'm confident that of these three, we're going to get what we need. I'm going to take a quick... Quick break. We do have a limited amount of jetpack fuel, so I probably should land whilst we uh, we heal up there. All right. Come on, one more. One more skull. One more skull is all we need. I don't want to hit the pigmen, but, you know, if I have to, I have to. Hello, my friend. I should check that hole for... Uh... Oh, hello, everybody. Yeah, those guys are going to be fun going forward, eh? I think I got a, a pigman skull of all things. Get out of here. All right, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a zombie skull and a wither skeleton skull. Let me check this hole. I do not see one. Alas. Chat, chat, chat. We have done it. We have two more wither skeleton skulls. We have done it. All right. So now back at home, we should now have three wither skeleton skulls. I actually don't think we have any soul sand. We don't, so I'm going to have to head back through here, actually, and try and get the uh, the four soul sand required. But finally, after much time spent <laughs> trying to get them, we finally have the three wither skeleton skulls. Everything required to spawn the wither chat. We are so very, very close to, uh, to that ultimate solar panel. I was kind of hoping there'd be soul sand down here. There was a little bit over there. Let's uh, switch over to hover mode. Okay. We only need four. 
We'll take a little extra just in case. There we go. Uh, let's do a quick slash home. And let's see if we can't fight the wither chat. Um, I would like to, if possible, uh, request, you know, a little bit of, uh, of refined obsidian. Let's go with 20. Uh, because I think I'm probably going to replace out my leggings, which are currently almost broken, and osmium. And I think I'll also, obviously, get a helmet. And I might even take the runners off while we fight the uh, the wither skeleton, maybe. I don't know if the... Uh, we do have an armor jetpack, so that's okay. But I don't think the runners are particularly great. Um, we could make... I thought maybe armored runners, but apparently not. So let's just do some of those, as well as one of those. And just in case, we'll also get the boots going as well. I think that was going to be substantially better than uh, what we had previously. Our feeder is pretty full. So now, chat, all we have to do is uh, is fight this guy. Now, it probably makes a little bit of sense for us to fight him maybe a little lower down. Also, I should turn, turn on my, uh, my jetpack here. Yeah, there's a ravine right here, actually. So you know what? I'm going to fight him... Kind of like over here. All right. He's, he still can get out, but I'm hopeful that uh, this should be all right. I could have refueled my jetpack. That would have been a very sensible thing to do for sure. I'm a little out of range of my... Um, oh, hello, my friend. I'm a little out of range of my system. Otherwise, I would have crafted... I would have grabbed my... Oh, hello. Hello. We're doing this, eh? We're going up. We got a few hits in chat before we had to start headed skybound. But um, I also should have made an ender magnet <laughs> to allow us to uh, to grab this thing. I would have grabbed my other sword because I know it's got more damage than this. But I think this is not going to be a problem for us, chat. The fact that we have unlimited food in the form of our uh, liquid meat, I think means that we're basically invulnerable to this guy unless he lands like a large number of consecutive hits. He is very much so dead. And we have the star. Quickly swap out to the free runner so you don't take any fall damage. Look at that chat. They're so good at their job. And we've done it. We have freaking done it. It was definitely not the most elegant with a fight that I've ever seen. But chat, if we head on back over to our base, still withering away, we should be able to grab a block of ruby. Uh, we are going to have to make the uh, Crimson Iron, actually, because I don't think we have... It's Crimson Steel, I believe, that we need. Yeah, not Crimson Iron. Crimson Steel is an alloy made with pink slime, Crimson Iron, and compressed iron. How much compressed iron do we have? Not much. So let's go ahead and start compressing some iron up. Um, I think it's compressed iron made from refined iron. It is. Thankfully, we do have a fair bit of that, so I'll run that through the old uh, compressor here. We'll also go ahead and request some uh, pink slime ingots. I guess we might have to teach our system how to make pink slime ingots. Yeah, that seems very doable, though. We can just encode that and then put it into the same encoder that has, or the same crafter, I should say, uh, that has the actual pink slime there. So if I put that in, I think we can request, I believe, nine pink slime ingots. Yeah, you get one every time, so we need nine of these. Begin. And at that point, I think we're pretty much good to go. We have the crimson iron cooking. We've, uh, oh, sorry, we have the compressed iron cooking. We've got the crimson iron ingots. The pink slime is being made. Yeah, we've got 1,200 crimson iron. Um, we have all eight of the previous tier of solar panel. So all we're missing then are the two buckets of liquid DT fuel, which we also got uh, in the last stream. We have those ready to go. Platinum we've got. We do need four advanced solar cores. We've got them as well. Chat, this is it. As soon as we have the Nitro Crystal, we are good to go. I do, uh, I can't help but notice that the pink slime ingots are not being made. What's uh, what's happening there? Oh, we're, I'm a full chat, actually. Let me uh, clear that. We, uh, we changed it, right? Let me cancel that request as well. Yeah, we changed it so that uh, we don't want to have the, the pink slime here, so we want to get rid of that, because, of course, the actual machine downstairs is uh, is full. Right, like, it's always full of pink slime, so the pattern itself shouldn't have pink slime. 
So let's re-request re that. Start. Now that should work. It does indeed. Perfect. It is extraordinarily slow. But it's getting there. Slowly but surely. There are, of course, one or two other quests that we have yet to do. Uh, there is a quest for a backpack. And I feel like in the interest of completing the, uh, the pack here, we might as well uh, go ahead and complete these quests. Backpack acquired. Beautiful. Uh, we also have a quest to make the uh, building gadget. Which I don't think is too difficult to make. It's not. Beautiful. And then finally, we have the, uh, the quest to craft an eternal eye. The eternal eye being an eye of ender, redstone dust, and pink slime. And so you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, teach our system how to make it. Get rid of the pink slime. Give that a quick encode. We'll put that in. Of course, we're right next to the pink slime ingot. And as soon as those pink slime ingots are done, we can go ahead and request the uh, eternal eye. And at that point, chat, we will have completed all of the advancements uh, in QTEC. We'll have completed the pack and, uh, and we'll be good to go. Gosh, this is very slow. How's the compressed iron doing? The compressed iron's there. I guess we can actually start chat, even though we don't have all of the pink slime ingots yet, we can begin making them. Because I assume that uh, the old alloy smelter here is also going to be uh, just characteristically slow, as it always is. Got one more left to go. Any second now. There we go. All right, all the pink slime is done. Let's see if we can't quickly request the Eternal Eye. We are kind of, we have an Ender Pearl. Uh, we are somewhat racing against the uh, the clock here as the server will restart in one minute. Let's see if we can't get an Ender Pearl. We can. Let's see if we can't request the Eternal Eye. Begin. Let's throw the remainder of our pink slime ingots into, uh, into here. And also maybe grab a little bit more refined iron as well because it looks like we're not going to quite have enough compressed iron here. Yeah, it looks like we need maybe uh, one more piece. There we go, chat. We have the nine. Oh, <laughs> just as the server restarts, we have the nine Crimson Steel ingots. Uh, so we're going to be... Hopefully, I didn't drop those, <laughs> actually, and they despawn. I don't think it will. But uh, hopefully, when the server restarts, we'll be able to craft those up into, uh, into a block. We'll be able to uh, throw them into the old charger which i've forgotten the name of the little energizing cube energizer maybe and uh we'll be able to make our nitro crystal all right so we got the old uh, the old crimson ready to go so we'll craft that up kapow we have the block of crimson steel we have the nether star we have the ruby block i think chat we're good to go now i'm not quite sure how long this is going to take actually how much redstone flux is required here? I assume quite a bit. It requires 20 million redstone flux in order to actually craft all of that together. We do have three of these uh, spirited energizing rods. As soon as the craft is done, we are going to get 16 of the nitro crystals. And so we could, if we wanted to, upgrade a couple of our uh, energizing rods to nitro tier. But of course, at that point, um, there's really not uh, much point in doing it whatsoever. It is going to take a hot second there, actually. Um, I was going to check if we could maybe oh we do have quite a lot of spirited crystals actually and so maybe chat we can make a few more energizing rods here did we teach our system how to make them we did did we teach it all the way up to spirited we didn't we taught it up to blazing i think if we teach our system how to make the spirited rods and throw that in over uh, over here i'm not too sure if it's gonna be able to craft them because it needs the uh, the energizing orb to craft them if I'm not mistaken. But if I wanted, like, you know, five more of these. You also don't know how to make the Niotic versions, eh? Also, a fairly easy craft to teach. But, uh, again, I think... I assume we don't have a couple of uh, hundred Niotic crystals lying around. We don't. And so I think trying to get, you know, like, five more of these rods might not be, uh, might not be doable just yet. Yeah, we would have to craft 40 Niotic crystals and each... Niotic crystal also requires 500,000, so 40 Niotic crystals is 20 million redstone flux, which is the exact same amount as is required for this one craft here. And this one is already like a third of the way there, chat, so I think we're just going to let that uh, let that run its course. We're going to dump all the rest of this stuff into the backpack there. 
Um, but did we get the Eternal Eye? I believe we, craft we requested it. It is indeed done. Boom. Advancement, look me in the eye, has been completed. Fantastic. And I think, Chad, that we are pretty much done. It took a lot of crafting, a lot of crafters as well. A lot of auto crafting. <laughs> it took a lot of iron, if nothing else. We do have now 115,000 iron, which is pretty insane. I, w I do wonder if I was to request another eight. We're actually not too far away in terms of resources for being able to craft another solar panel. Another one of the highest tier of solar panel. Because, of course, the hardest part um, about actually getting the, the highest tier here is the nitro crystal. And we get 16 of these, right? And uh, each solar panel actually requires one solar core. So we're going to make four solar cores with this recipe here. So if we got, you know, 24 more advanced solar panels, we could make four of these. Uh, the only thing holding us back, of course, uh, as you saw just then, is really glowstone. I think iron, redstone alloy, osmium, and copper, as well as enderpearls and amethysts, we could get fairly easily. I'm surprised that we're missing osmium crystals. I really thought we had maybe like 100 of them down here. We do. Uh, maybe this is not connected, actually. If I put those in the system, I'm assuming we can request eight more. Yeah, the only thing we're really that really is holding us back is the uh, the glowstone. We need 1,965, which uh, was a, a more than enough of a pain to get the first time around to where I'm not really in any rush to go and uh, try and get it again. But either way, we only need the one chat, and we are but 6 million redstone blocks away from this energizing orb being complete. 15 million. I think the reactor's doing all right. It is indeed. I'm assuming we still have more than enough Uraninite, we do indeed. Fantastic. Never did quite get up to uh, 64 dry ice. Our system is currently crafting and exporting that. Um, unfortunately, the dry ice is just being made so slowly over here that uh, that it kind of takes a while. The, the blue ice here is then used in the energizing orb to make dry ice. But it does look like we are we were kind of like keeping pace. Like it looks like we're making the dry ice about as fast as we're using it because I think I put about 48 in when it first started, so it seems like we're making it at about the speed that it's being used, which is also uh, also good. It looks like finally, as well, we have managed to burn through all of the iron ore in the system. All 50,000 iron ore has been uh, has been utilized. We can also go ahead and I reckon turn this back on now, as well. I can begin importing all these ores again, at which point I'm assuming that we'll very quickly get back to a point where we uh, have more iron ore that needs to be processed. I do wonder how far away we are from uh, that builder being done, which is, I, I imagine, not uh, not too far away. All right, chat. We have it. We have the Naoto Crystal. It's instantly pulled, of course, into the system. And so now, if we go ahead and craft the ultimate solar core with our eight advanced solar panel, each advanced solar panel can already produce 32,000 redstone flux per tick. But in total, we now have one ultimate solar panel that can produce a whopping 262,144 redstone flux per tick. Congratulations. You did it. Oh, son, I control you. Look at that chat. We have done it. I think that we will be doing the pack a little bit of a disservice if we didn't sleep and throw down the old ultimate solar panel. You know what? I believe we have a spare quantum entangler portal over here. Let me nab this guy. Not that we need the power at this point, chat. But uh, for future reference... Oh, the server is reloading. No, please. <laughs> Not now. My moment. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Give it a second. The craft we can reload always... Uh, always takes a second. There we go. Boom. No. One more time. Boom. Boom. A little bit of power in from the top. Auto eject on. Look at that, chat. Look at that. Generating 200,000 redstone flux per tick. Oh, we have done it. Every single quest has been complete. Congratulations, well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the pack creator for making it. This was a fun pack, enjoyable. I, I had a good time. Rubber band moment, I know, my goodness. All right, well, chat, that's it. That's QTech. That is the pack complete. All the quests done. The ultimate solar panel acquired. Flip a deck. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the stream and you enjoyed the packs, be sure to hit follow on if you're watching on Twitch or subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or vice versa. 
Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, I do have a YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash gaming on caffeine. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, you can also watch live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash gaming on caffeine. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, probably with a brand new mod pack. We're going to start something fresh, something new. For now, though, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.